Konami. Well, it's a PS1 era Konami, so does that mean it's going to be good? We'll find out. I'm standing outside Groom Lake at the edge of what is rumored to be a top secret Air Force base, although the government has always denied its existence. For some reason, air activity and radio traffic in the area is at its highest in recent memory, leading to speculation that the government covers up. When I was a kid, I loved to blow things up. Plastic army men were my favorite. The year is 2026 and I've changed a little. I'm a special task force marine in the explosive division, much to my wife's disapproval. Only now I defuse bombs before they blow my brains out. What a rush. I received a call early this morning for my next mission. I hate being woken up before noon. See, it's your standard defuse and run, only this time the explosives aren't going to be popped in any ordinary building. They're in a classified place where the government hides anything that might disturb the average Joe. I know a little about it because my father worked there until his death 15 years ago. He died in a plane crash on the way to work along with 10 other scientists. Or so they said. I was only nine when it happened. The strange thing is that two days ago I received a phone call from a man who refused to tell me his name. He told me he was a friend of my father's and that soon I'd be learning more about his death. The next day I was assigned to this top secret mission. Inside a place called Area 51. Okay, this is Broken Helix for the PlayStation 1, and we're going to be trying it out for an hour. Um, before we go further, let me just see something. Like maybe I should just uh, turn everything down just, just a little bit. Okay, let's go. Except the voice volume, of course. Voice volume can stay up. All right, so the voice, uh, of course, you, you might have recognized the voice. That is indeed Bruce Campbell, uh, who is voicing the main character of Broken Helix, uh, a game for the PS1 made by Konami Chicago, which I don't think I knew that existed. Konami had a U.S. branch, uh, and this is a U.S. Konami game. Um, it's, uh, I'm not like a third person shooter it okay let me just let me just bring this up uh the game this is a 4d game according to the manual 4d time element broken helix uses a 4d engine when the player starts the game everything takes place in real time scientists and creatures on other levels move around triggering different events even if jake is not on the current level if you walk away from the controller be sure to pause the game because when you come back you could be dog meat. So, okay, it's a 4D game. Um, you know, I don't know if uh, if that element of the gameplay is really going to really come about, if it's going to be noticeable during our hour tryout. We will find out. Um, let, let's try it and see if it's something we want to play. Uh, we're going to return to Maine. We're going to start a new game. And hey, guess what? We got more story. So buckle up. There are things I like about my job and things I don't. I hope you had your beauty sleep, Private, because you need it! What's the situation, sir? A scientist has placed major explosives on the first two levels of the base! He's threatening to blow them up if we don't meet his demands! Your mission is to defuse these bombs! If you look at files, talk to anyone, or even go to the bathroom before you defuse these bombs, I will take one of these explosives and shove it right up your... I understand, sir. You must avoid being seen by any flying security cameras in the base. If they spot you, the scientists will blow this base up. Do you understand? Yes, sir. They're trying to keep something in or out. Hey, what's with the escort service? 
This is Marine Commander Black Dawn. He and his men are going to clean things up after you complete your mission. You will contact me and let me know after you defuse the explosives. Understood? Yes, sir. What's your major malfunction, Private? Say it like a Marine! Yes, sir. Move out! It's he Hell yeah! <laughs> Rack that shotgun. Okay, we gotta defuse some bombs. And, um... Well, I mean, you're about to see what the gameplay looks like. There we- here we go. We're dead! Oh crap! We're dead! Hey, I didn't get a harom from that guy. That's like a Spaceballs reference? I want two million in unmarked bills, a private jet, and a televised interview with the biggest media mogul you can- No, no, Blazing Saddles reference. You have 20 minutes. I need more time. 20 minutes? America has a right to know what's going on here. No more secrets! Okay, 20 minutes. So, like, a lot's happening right away. Here's what the game looks like. So, uh, this is one of those PlayStation 1 games before they started using analog sticks. So, D-pad forward, D-pad back. D pad left, D pad right, L1, L2, L, R1, uh, L1, R, no, L2, R2. Uh, let's see. That's, that's X. Uh, circle is the action button. He's not giving us much time. Yeah, you're right. We have to move quickly if we're gonna be the first to get the interview. Where are you? I'm on level four. Fitz is sending someone to meet us. I'll be there soon. Square is shoot, triangle is jump. Okay. Hard on the outside, chewy on the inside. So this is Black Dawn. Hey pal, what's your mission? Why have they called you in here? Get to work, grunt. I don't think so. I don't need an escort service. He's just shooting whenever scientists come out of here. Cause like, I guess the scientists are the bad guys. Usually in a video game when they're scientists, you're supposed to rescue them, but no. The scientists are the the villains here, I guess? We need to select blue key card. Do I have that? I do not have blue key card. Gotta find it. Some things can be killed by jumping on them. Oh, like that? There we go. Not just a shooter, but a platformer too, I guess. Ooh, flushable toilets. How interactive. What's this? It seems one of your men has entered the complex, Lieutenant. I told you no military personnel. Move your men out or I blow this place. I mean, he already has a time limit for 20 minutes. So I, I don't know if that particular threat has any teeth to it. What's this? Seems one of your men has entered the complex, Lieutenant. I told you no military personnel. Move your men out or I blow this place. I'm not sure if it's a threat we really need to worry about. I mean, I guess we'll find out, but... Okay, here we go. I, got, I, I think we're going. There we go. Yeah? Oh, okay. Loading something. Mm-hmm. Oh no, what what hey man, listen to this. We now have confirmed reports that the body of Elvis has been seen inside the base. Earlier we asked a local farmhand why he thought the military would want his body. Well, isn't it obvious? They want to bring him back from the dead to wiggle his hips for one last time. Your head crap off. Hey, just trying to have some fun. No time for that. This is some this is some very biting uh comedy that we're hearing in the background as we're going on our mission. Oh, yeah, go ahead, run home to mama, loser. I, 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 I get the quote. I get it. Does it hurt when I do this? Alright, if, if I found a Sattling amplifier, I guess I could put it in there. 
Oh, and we were bumped by like a, a, a green ball? Uh, and it seemed like maybe it broke our DNA helixes. Maybe we, maybe the broken helix was us the whole time. Yep. Okay, hit circle at console to use maint bot. I'm using maint bot. Activated. Hmm, but what reason do I have to use maint bot? I can push people with maint bot. That's the elevator. I mean, I guess I can explore without people shooting at me, but... Don't know if Maintbot is actually able to, uh, to do anything itself. The word Maintbot would make it sound like it could fix things, but I don't think we've seen anything that's, that's broken or anything. Oh, that guy's in the same room with me? I guess he doesn't have a problem with this? Oh, there's been... No. Okay. I'm just pressing various buttons to stop using Maintbot. Which, uh, they don't seem to be working. Here's Maintbot's, uh, inventory screen. Here's a couple of items. Used an item. Oh, that's options. Maintbot could give item. Helps boo-boos heal real fast. They sure do. They sure do. And uh this is this is Maintbot. I would, I would rather just switch back to to Bruce Campbell. Is there a compartment that main bot needs to go into? It looks like it might... Um, well, nothing's actually actually happening. Push him through the wall. There we go. Maybe I can just... Uh, Oh, there we go. M button mashing did did indeed work. Okay. Okay. Now now he noticed me. Party on, dude. It's like the the movie references are just whatever movies I guess the writers liked. Die! I'm not really noticing a theme. What are you doing in there, monkey boy? Both explosives should have been diffused by now. Uh oh. Yeah, connection Do your job or I will personally, I swear to Man, blah, blah, blah. I should have thought of that a long time ago. Well, we're not doing too well if we were supposed to have defused the bombs by now. I can select I can switch weapons. If I if I wanted to. There's one of those cameras. Can I shoot the camera? Yeah, it seems like that stunned it. I don't think I went in here before. Oh, it's like a monster. Got it. I think that's a do door. 
And this is just like the beginning part of it, where everyone's waiting for me to defuse the bombs. Don't know if there's actually anything out here. Doesn't work on him. Right, this here's the mole. Are you with me, Parkman? Yes. Go ahead. Estimated time of arrival is about 20 minutes. Better make it 10. The rooster's in the red house. Sorry, can't do. God, there's a key card. It's slowing me down. There's also a glowing red thing here. Game over. Yeah? We did it. I like that the sergeant's frustrated reaction was to just take his cigar out and just throw it to the ground. How could this have happened? Sure. I mean, we didn't actually save anything. All right, back to the title screen we go. Name's Jake. Yeah, I know. I'm just as I've been, as I'm playing this, I'm just trying to think about other games that came out for the PS1 like in 1997, and just thinking about how Broken Helix would have stacked up to those games. And I can't think favorably. I mean, I've only played it for a few minutes. Okay, I got a key card. So getting the key card is good. And we can probably go through that door. Here's the deal, Lieutenant. I want two million in unmarked bills, a private jet, and a televised interview with the biggest media mogul you can find. You'll take hours to meet these demands. You have 20 minutes. I need more time. 20 minutes? And Marianne is the right to know what's going on here. No more seat. What's this? It seems one of your men has entered the complex, Lieutenant. I told you no. Then there's this, which killed us when we shot it. I get a beep if I try to interact with it. Oh, what is the photo, by the way? Oh, I can equip the photo. Wire cutters? Oh, okay, equip wire cutters, use it on this. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I have to fuse the first bomb. Good! Get your butt to the next one! There you go. Oh, okay, that's the bomb. That's what they look like. And we have now done one. Uh, we I think we can use our key card. Hold on. Yes, yeah, select blue key card. And then use that to open that. Open sesame. What's this? It seems one of your men has entered the complex, Lieutenant. I told you. Signs can provide information. I can't read it because... Okay, danger, auto guns active on level 2. So if we go to level 2, we're going to have to deal with that. I feel like my brain is having trouble parsing anything being said on the radio. Like, I know words are being said and they're mostly being yelled. Uh, but I find, like, I can't assemble them into comprehensible sentences. If that makes sense. I guess we were seen. We were noticed. I, I do like the thing where after you die, it asks you if you have a saved game. And if no, Name. back to the Konami logo. Because what else would you be? <laughs> what else would there be? There this is 1997. We're not, we're not doing checkpoints or anything at this point. That's not what we're interested in. Well, what do you expect? It's fun to abuse you. Wait, not that one. 
At least we know the first bit. I want two million in unmarked bills, a private jet, and a televised interview. Just to go here, and then select the... Oh, I got noticed again. I do have to watch out for that. I told you no. Oh, I didn't select it. There we go. There we go, and do that. The red or blue wire. One of your men has what, what am I? One of the men just came in here. I'm still a bit puzzled about that particular threat since he's going to blow it in 20 minutes. Also, are, am I supposed to be more stealthy about my movement around because of the cameras? Because I can barely make out the cameras. <laughs> okay, so the auto guns are indeed a problem. So many Konami logos. So many. Name's Jake. Just keep seeing the Konami logo explode out of rocks. There are things I like about my job. And yeah, f a fun thing to think about when they were talking about how this is a 4D game is the implication about how we might... It sounds like it could be possible to go to the right place, but at the wrong time. Like, maybe there's a certain area I need to go to, but I need to go there at a certain time when a certain person will be there, and if I'm not at that time... Like, whatever I need, like, won't be there. That, like, that's a possibility? It sounds like... It sounds like that might happen. The red, the red one. So that's a fun idea. I'm having fun. What's this? It's What's this? One of the men has entered the complex. They don't have any problem with the Marines standing outside the complex and just constantly shooting scientists. That's not an issue. It, what? We have tried this elevator before. Didn't... Didn't seem... I don't know. I didn't notice a bomb when we were up here. Right, right, okay. So this is where our helix gets broken, and... This seems like an important cutscene. Did you hear Fitz? He's not giving us much time. Yeah, you're right. We have to move quickly if we're gonna be the first to get the interview. Who's that guy imitating? Like, that guy on the radio, he's definitely imitating a celebrity voice, and I don't know... It, it's, um... Yeah. Going postal. I wonder if there's anything I could be using to detect the presence of the cameras. Because... Like, I don't know how you would actually see the cameras. Everything is just a dark, pixelated mess. Like, even if I was sneaking around, I don't think I would actually be able to notice where the cameras are. Access denied. Not sure if these scientists are unique or if they just spawn in. Okay, we know we can control the maint bot, but I don't know what we might use maint bot for. There's Satlink amplifier. If we found that, I guess we could insert it and then. Death for all, Marine! Well, in the battle between scientists. Bridge is falling down. 
Between the battle between scientist and marine, it doesn't seem like it's going too well for scientist. I don't know if there's anything up here that... Oh, well, I mean, probably there is something up here, but... Anything that we should u we should use... Is there a reason to use Maintbot? Uh-huh. Oh, right. The, the guy talking about Elvis. Yeah, these guys just have to be, like, respawning in. So... And it says auto guns. Oh. No time for that. We can turn the auto guns off. Okay, that is what we're actually supposed to be doing here, I guess. So now if we go to the second floor... Now if we go to the second floor, the auto guns will be disabled and we can continue on. Level one. Wonder why it decides this moment right here to tell me about switching weapons. Is there a reason for that? I found something on level three. You won't believe this, but let's see. It says to use crawl mode. It's so dark that I can't tell if there's something I should be crawling into. Okay, is this like a like a a very low door? I can't I can't see anything. Things don't sound like they're going well. That's the door I came at, I came into, I'm pretty sure. I mean I I could shoot the enemies as I go, but there's like a like a little light source going along the wall if I shoot it. I see a little bit. Okay, so I'm crawling somewhere that I haven't been, because there are power-ups. Is that a camera? Yeah, okay, that is a camera. But it didn't see me. This? Now the camera saw me. That that alien will wait. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Set link. Oh, we're, we're back up here. Not sure. I mean, I got some power-ups when I crawled through that tunnel. I don't know if there was any reason to do that besides the, the power-ups. Because it, it just brought me to that elevator. And certainly I've been to the elevator before. that. Security camera active. Okay, so I can see the cam- I can see- Oh, that's- that was looking at the bomb. Why do they have one in the bathroom? And here's one looking around. So I, I guess I can learn its pattern, find out where it goes. So I can avoid getting in the way. Uh, 
you a burnt mouth. Do your job or I will personally, I swear to- Man, blah, blah, blah. I should have thought of that a long time ago. Here I come! Oh, I got a CD. Oh, it's a- <laughs> This is a game where- is falling down. So to save the game, we use consumable items. That is, uh... That's another plus in this game's favor. Security cameras just like seem like the same cameras. Tick tock, your time is up. The media's on its way, and the money and jet are here. P please be reasonable. Just five more minutes. No more deals. Project Broken Helix will now be destroyed. No, wait. Ah! Well, we got seen too many times. So, I... I, I guess the th thing we do is we... Um, we find the computers to turn off the auto guns then we find that one elevator that leads to the floor that we got that we were killed on because of the auto guns maybe the second bomb is there um and then once we deactivate both bombs did they say did they say it was only two bombs and I, I can't really remember i'm not really like retaining any memories of anything in this game sesame already um maybe when both are something then something happens I'm pressing buttons. Oh, I, I... That was the wrong one. I meant to shoot the scientist. And I shot a bomb instead, and it's causing this to explode. Name's Jake. What do you, his name is Jake. So we'll, we'll always remember Konami busting out of the rocks, and his name is Jake. And also, don't get seen by cameras, because bomb. Work. And also, constant movie references. All right, so there's a camera right in front of us, right? Yeah, okay. Like, if I didn't know that, I would not have... I don't think I would have seen it. It's so hard to parse anything in this. Okay, we deactivate the bomb. Uh, let's go through blue key card door without using blue key card. We got spot by a security camera. I assume we have to be be spotted by that one. Maybe, well, maybe we could go prone. Maybe that would have worked. All right, then there was yes, yeah, signs provide valuable information. And now, eh, get around that. And now we're going to go down to the auto gun level, but no, auto gun. We have not turned auto guns off. My mind is is melting memories of different playthroughs together. In a different playthrough, we did turn the auto guns off. We have not done that yet in this one. Level one. It seems one of your men has entered the complex, Lieutenant. I told you no. Move your men out or I that camera's still there? Yeah, I think it's floating right there. Yeah, there it is. I think I need to equip the the, the blue key card. Access go. Granted. Access granted. Uh, we needed to go to the elevator to the Satlink floor. Is there? There's a camera there. Yeah, there's a camera there. 
but maybe we can get it behind it. There we go. And... Okay, then this will take us to that room with all of the computers. I don't know if I feel good about remembering that. Like, I feel a little bit resentful that maybe... Uh, that maybe space in my brain is now being used to retain information about bro about Broken Helix and the map and where you should be going. And after after we're done with this hour, I can assure you that will be purged. That will be purged immediately. Okay, those are off. Why don't you cry? Why did his voice fade out when he went into the elevator? He was talking on the radio. Like it should... It's not like a distance-based thing. Uh, let's, um... Like that camera. Yeah, there's the camera. Okay, there we go. And... Now we're gonna go back here. Select the blue card. Do that. Granted. Uh, can I go prone and... No, the camera saw me. Okay, so... Don't go in there more than the one time you have to. Because that camera will respawn. Well, of course we knew it would respawn, but the question was... Would we be able to go prone and evade being seen? The answer is apparently no. There are things I like about my job, and things... I there are things he likes about his job. His name is Jake, and there are things that he likes about his job. Um, I don't know what those things are. We're dead! Oh, crap! We're dead! I don't expect I'll ever know. Try me a river, Greaseball. Okay, so... Elevator. Shoot camera. I want two million in unmarked bills. A private check. Like that. The, 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 you know, the thing you do with a bomb. You debomb. You debomb the bomb. Okay, now we need to. The camera's coming this way. The camera's going back. Make like a tree. The one-liners are even better when you can't actually see what he's doing. I mean, I'm sure he's just shooting scientists, but... I'm glad we're able to hear his, his, his movie reference one-liners. I guess he talks entirely in movie references. Right, then our helix gets broken. And he's not- I guess he's not gonna mention it. Well, I mean, he has a mission to do. Ooh, got her! Much time. Yeah, you're right. We have to move quickly if we're gonna be the first to get the interview. Where are you? Christian Slater is who I was thinking of. Someone to meet us. I'll be there soon. Which, given the time period, that wouldn't that would be a, a fairly you know re relevant reference. Okay, we turned off the auto guns. Shoot the camera. I'm invincible. That was a very timely reference. Like, Goldeneye could not have been out for, for very long at that point. Actually, I should probably. Dude, it's not even funny anymore. I should get this CD. Ooh, dig it, man, dig it. Uh, yeah, I can dig it. Cool. Okay, so the next thing. Well, let's see. Yeah, I might as well save. So you know. My 
Yeah, might as well save. So when we when we die, we'll just start from here. Game saved okay. Um, so now we want to, um, okay, don't, don't, don't purge the memories yet. We have to retain the memories of the game for at least like 20 minutes more, 20 minutes more. Um, what did we need to do next? We needed to, we, we shut off the auto guns. We need to go to the floor with the auto guns. Access granted. Okay, going to floor, the auto guns. Hey man, listen to this. We know. Right, Elvis. Remember Elvis? Okay, so we have not been here before because the, the one time we came down here, auto guns killed us. Well, isn't it obvious? They want to bring him back from the dead to wiggle his hips for one last time. Hey, Ooh, green card. Oh, it looks like an auto gun is does have us in its sights. Oh, was that? Well. A man hack. Okay, so. They had a custom, uh, custom video made for dying that way. Isn't that neat? Level one. Granted. It seems one of your men has entered the complex, Lieutenant. I told you no military personnel. I've fallen and I can't get up. What? I mean, I get- I understand what the reference is, I don't know why. What's the matter with you? Hey man, listen to this! We now have confirmed reports that the body of Elvis has been seen inside the base. Earlier we asked a local farmhand why he thought the military was- There's our camera. They want to bring him back oh wait, auto gun off? Well, no, we want to keep them off. And these are cameras. Here I go. I quit. Well, not not quite yet, Bruce. We still have a few minutes to go. Groovy. I get that reference. Oh, it's Matebot. Robot activate. I, I don't know what I want to do with Matebot. Okay, let's not use Matebot for right now. Like maybe there's something we can do with Matebot, but it's, it's not right now. Um, let's uh, save a game. Okay, so our gun doesn't work on on the man hacks. Robert. They are slow, but seemingly invincible, at least for now. There's a green door. Oh, but man hack coming at us.
Access granted. There had better be a bonus. Uh, okay, big big image of a scorpion on this computer. Has something to do with some dastardly plans, probably. There's a CD in there. Maybe a mate bot could get in there. I don't know. Like, all the computers have, like, this big scorpion on them. I don't know if they're doing anything scorpion-related or if scorpions are just badass. What's this? Uh, camera saw me. One of your men has entered the complex today. Seems one of your men has entered the complex. Today. Red door. I do not have a red key. We also saw it to death. Level two. I'm gonna die! And you're coming with me! I can't believe Vince is going to give us this interview. I've waited a long time for a break like this. I found something on level three. You won't believe it. They come through the door. Like, I mean, if the door is closed. No, it doesn't seem like it. And that door is remaining open. Okay, because the enemies were in it. Oh. Not get past that. Um. Here's one of these first aid kits we've been picking up. Uh, did I get a green key? Yeah, okay, I did get a green key. I mean, we were just in there. And it didn't seem like there was anything that was helping us out. So, in addition to green and blue, there will also have red doors. And, but, oh. That's probably not something we want to get hit by. Ah, they can shoot. It does not appear that my gun works on them. Probably should use one of one of these. Here's the communication room. Hello. What's the matter with you? Groovy. Access denied. This door does not work. London Bridge is falling down. Now there's a red card. I'm gonna die! And you're coming with me! Look, it's not my fault, okay? Blame the one with the controller. What's the matter with you? What are you doing in there, monkey boy? Both explosives should have been defused by now! Oh, uh, gee, Sarge, yeah. Yeah, I can hold connection at home. Yeah, a burden now. Do your job or I will personally, I swear to... Man, blah, blah, blah. Should have thought of that a long time ago. Well, okay, we found in that room, we found a, a control panel to shut off. Oh, to, uh... Cut off some auto guns somewhere. Uh, 
Uh, now, what we would want... Your mama drives my school bus. Pardon? Who even said that? Here we go. Access granted. Okay, that's nothing's happening if I interact with that. Thought it might be a door. And uh, I guess we're go we're taking taking an elevator. Level three. Your time is up. The media's on its way. Oh. The money and jet are here. That's like it's like a, a zombie, maybe. Project Broken Helix will now be destroyed. No. Oh, they saw me. Purple door. Hey, what's your situation? They're dead. They're all dead, man. Who's dead? The explosion blew apart three men in our outfit. One of them was our commanding officer, Black Dawn. He didn't even brief us on our mission before he died. Are you a Marine? Yes. What do we do now, man? Can you help us? No, I work alone. But I like to order people around. Hey, stay calm. Where are you? We're on what's left of level two. Meet us on level three by the elevator doors. Oh, okay. Need a marine named Tonka. Are you with me, Pogma? Yes. Go ahead. Estimated time of arrival is about twenty. I wonder if he tastes good. Huh? Ah, put a sock in it. Yeah, the cameras don't seem to be really doing anything. And I picked a a gas card. I mean, I might as well save while I'm here. Never found that second bomb. But I got bunches of keys now. Access denied. Oh, that probably is... That's probably not good. Probably we don't want to walk into that. Like that, just that whole situation in there is probably not one we want any part of, I would I would assume. So have I done a circuit over the whole thing now? I think so. And if we wanted maint bot, like that, it's there. But I still don't really know what the purpose of maint bot is. Like we can walk around without being attacked, but I don't know if we can actually do anything. Helps boo-boos heal real fast. Oh. Ooh, crazy! That's ah, just a purple key card. Doesn't seem like anything we need up here. I can't walk by him. Like I get I get stuck on him. Like see uh, okay now we got by him. Oh, here's some dudes. Hello. You Tonka? Any of you Tonka? I supposed to meet Tonka? I I'm assuming you're Marines. I mean, you're... 
There we go. Told you guys he'd show. Good to see you, man. I mean, sir. All right, at ease. We found these orders on Black Dawn after we contacted you. Ooh, top secret files. Marine orders. Kill all scientists on levels 1 through 8, including Fitz, and destroy the command center on level 5. After a thorough search on each level, turn on exterminators. They will take care of any loose ends. Burton is armed and dangerous. Kill him on sight. A reporter was last seen on level 2. Make sure any camera footage is destroyed in Eliminator. Delete broken Helix files on level 3 and something. Inside Agent level 6 will grant access into Med Lab. Destroy Med Lab, Reese and his men, and all test subjects inside of the cryogenic chambers. Agent will give you additional orders. Oh no, we're, we're, we're Jake Burton, right? They are assigned to kill us? You haven't uh, read these yet? Yeah, but we're uncertain who Burton is. Well, I heard of him. He's uh, very dangerous. Do you have any maps? Yeah, up to level six, where we're supposed to meet someone. What do you know about the test subjects in the agent, sir? <clears throat> That's classified. Yeah. Oh. That, uh, that thing was uh, coming to kill us. I thought maybe because it was a conversation that maybe we... Things were being put on pause there. Uh, they were not. That thing was still coming at us, though it was we were talking. Uh, that's probably a good place to leave off with Broken Helix. Uh, I... Uh, hmm. well, that, was, that was just terrible to play. Just a uh, man in... In every way, it felt real, real, real bad, and it was real dark and hard to see anything, and just hard to parse anything visually or orally, um, because it, all the radio chatter kind of all meaningless. Um, it felt that way anyway. Um, um, we never found that second bomb. Oh. Well, I, I guess the mission went bad. Um, the Marine leader is not... Who knows where he is? And it looks like that their orders were to kill Jake to begin with. So, uh-oh, a double cross. How could this be? I don't know if the 4D element never actu ever actually really came up. Well, like... I, I mean, I, I guess the that green wave that killed us was coming for us regardless of what we were doing um but uh yeah clearly the big selling point of this was bruce campbell and all of that voice acting that he recorded for this because i'm not really seeing much of any any other appeal to this thing um again i was just trying to think about other games that would have come out in 1997 and I just can't see this comparing well to most PS1 games coming out at the time uh this is uh well I mean this is for uh the first time in kind of a while this is an absolutely a hard Erico a real hard Erico uh Erico does not like what she is seeing She's quite upset by uh, by this sight before her. Um, it it feels unfinished. Like a bad game might feel like a bad game. This feels like an unfinished game. Um, like it feels like this was a proof of concept, not actually something that should have been sold on a shelf. Has, well, just a real unpleasant experience playing it for this hour. And uh, at least Bruce Campbell got a paycheck, you know, for talking about good points of the game. That's something. <laughs>